How you define greatness into somebody? Is it really the outside? How you measure the inside? How you measure how great someone is in the inside? A lot of times you can measure the outside. So here is a theory about the inside. You will only know how is the inside when you see a person against adversity and how they bounce back from adversity. I heard someone say one time that if you squeeze a lemon, you get lemon juice. And when you squeeze a person, you find out what they made of. I find out, I heard that Sylvester Stallone said one time that it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but actually the size of the heart of the dog in the fight that really matters. So how big is the heart? I give you a couple samples here. I give you Michael Jordan for once. Michael Jordan is just completely amazing, a complete leader, uh, gifted, everything that you can come on. But you can only know his true greatness every time he faced adversity and he carried the team or every time he found adversity against himself when his body says no anymore. When he was sick and he won with the flu, that's the biggest win. So when you look at Mr. Flex Wheeler here, which is respected and loved by the whole world of bodybuilding. He is really admired. I mean, he's a legend. And at this point in his life, he goes through tremendous adversity. And he shows the heart of a lion. He continues to be, to invent himself, reinvent himself, become a great coach. And he's becoming one of the best coaches. He don't give up. There, he doesn't have, you know, this problem where you can't get out of bed and, and you make excuses. Beautiful thing about it is he's connected with someone that is just like him. He's connected with a great dog by the name Achilles. He actually gave that dog the name Achilles. And it's called Flex Wheeler's Achilles. And this dog right here, if you don't know, is one of the last real elite American Pitbull Terriers in the world. Now, I know you probably heard the name of Pitbulls related to never give up, never surrender. Or maybe you had done some research and you actually know that the concept of underdog, never give up, and the top dogs have to fight very hard to stay on top, something that it was part of the success of America. Those entrepreneurs and builders of America back in the past that were raised with those dogs, they call them nanny dogs back in the past, before they became the monsters that you see today, that they hurt people and stuff like that. Of course, those dogs are not real pit bulls. Most people don't know that. Those are common dogs bred without standards. They don't have the genetics of the real dogs. They don't even look like the real dogs. If you ever wanna know what a real American Pitbull Terrier is, take a look at the dog. Look at the way they are connected. And I know that a lot of people have Pitbulls and say, oh, they are nice dogs I always had in my life. You know, some people get lucky by having uh, dogs that have the sparkles of the great dog. This right here is one of the last of the very best. Connected to the 1800s, best to best. The dogs of John Sullivan, the dogs of Jack Johnson, the dogs of um, Terrence Bob Crawford, and Julio Cesar Chavez, or Grand Campeon Mexicano, or Chris Cyborg, or Royce Gracie. My friends, this dog right here, and this man, is like you're looking at two warriors with one soul. He looks at the dog, and the dog tells him, never give up. If he has a bad day, he will go to the mirror, he'll look at himself, and look deep inside until he finds that dog inside him that tells him, keep fighting, don't give up. He looks at Achilles, Achilles look up, look up and look at him, and that dog tells him, listen, another day, another fight. Folks, what you made of? Are you, if your life is squeeze you, what you made of? Because you already heard that when life is squeezes a lemon, you get lemon juice. Well, what are we gonna get out of you? Are we gonna get the best version of you? Are you gonna be a pitbull? Are you raised by a pitbull or raised by a chitsu? God bless you, my name is Chico Lopez. You can always find me at chicolopez.com.